your response to this ruling? Hello. Uh, yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, really an unprecedented uh, ruling. It signals, uh, uh, first and foremost, the end of Israeli impunity in the international legal system, which is huge, right? Israel has enjoyed impunity in the international legal system for decades in the face of mounting evidence of cross violations in international law, uh, of uh, uh, mass violence, occupation, siege, so on. This is the end of that era. Uh, so it's just the beginning of a process that it really, I think now, uh, with a ruling that basically recognizes the plausibility uh, of genocide, uh, the fact that Israel is likely committing genocidal acts, uh, this is the beginning of a process of isolating uh, Israel because any university, company, state now uh, will have to consider uh, moving forward, whether it continues or doesn't continue in many cases, I think, to engage with Israel because it is likely committing genocide. This also legally triggers third state, third state's responsibility uh, on issues of prevention and complicity uh, with genocide. And this is significantly important today, where in a few hours in a court in Florida, we'll, uh, we'll, there will be the hearing in the case that the Center for Constitutional Rights uh, has brought against uh, Biden, Lincoln, and Austin, indeed on complicity with genocide, U.S. complicity with genocide and the failure to prevent uh, uh, genocide. So this might have actually uh, uh, a certain effect, even on this case today in California and moving forward. So this is really unprecedented. Um, uh, yes, it is a disappointment that uh, the court did not order an immediate uh, ceasefire, but it did order um, uh, Israel to uh, cease from any genocidal acts, which de facto is actually an order for ceasefire.